Hello beautiful Scorpios and welcome to La Ebony Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing your love reading. We're going to be seeing what's coming towards you in love, okay? Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all the information for that is in the description box below, okay? Um, please remember that the energies can go vice versa and just take what resonates. Don't get so fixated on the signs, okay? Sometimes it's the energy that they're embodying or it could be in their chart. And if you don't know their chart, you won't know if it's their sign, okay? So, yeah. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, how I read my cards is I channel through the oracle. I then clarify with the tarot and at the end we get additional messages, okay? So the overall energy, Scorpios, is emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Okay, so I really do feel... Feel like I just keep hearing that song, it's just emotions taking me over. Um, do 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 Who is that? Is that Destiny's Child? I think so. But anyway, so emotions are taking over somebody, okay? I feel like someone is really um yeah, they're drowning in their sorrows right now. I feel like someone needs to let go of something, like there could be guilt here. Um someone's judgment is really really clouded over something that they've done like they really do love you or this could be how you're feeling towards somebody else like there's a very heavy love connection i feel like even when this person is not with you it's like you can feel them within your presence but somebody needs to let go of something they need to let, let go of resentment they need to let go of guilt there's something that someone's holding on to and it's kind of blocking the connection okay um, but I feel like this person wants to let you know, like, you know, love conquers all. So if you're heavily thinking about a person, if you're seeing signs and synchronicities and you can't just stop, you know, you, you could just be sitting there and you're in a good mood and then you have like a wave of sadness over you. This is this person's emotions, okay? They're reflecting on something, but they need to let go. They need to let go of resentment. They need to let go of judgment, okay? Even if you look at this card, you know, it's like she's, she's seeing him within the water, so I feel like, you know, this person sees you everywhere. Or this could be how you're feeling towards somebody else, okay? They are definitely with you in spirit. I feel like this person just feels like they want to be around you. But there's something that is blocking this. And then we've got freedom underneath my beloved, which says, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So this person has the freedom to come towards you. I also feel like you've released yourself from this person. You could really be focused on yourself and your own blessings. Okay. You're not allowing anything to stop you. And um, this person sees that, but I feel like there's just heavy emotion here. So I don't know what's going on. Okay. We're about to find out. Okay. So what is coming towards my beautiful Scorpios in love? One card, please, spirit. What's coming towards my beautiful... Ooh! Scorpio's in love. Can I just have one card? Okay, so many cards are coming out for you. Thank you. Oh, nope. Okay, I'm just going to take this one. Have a voice. So somebody definitely wants to communicate with you. They want to talk to you, like I said. I feel like this person is just fearing um, coming towards you. Um, there's just something that they're holding on to that's like their throat, their throat, their throat chakra is blocked, okay? But expect communication from this person, especially like when my nose starts tickling, I always see that as a surprise. So you will get a surprise or unexpected message if you're not in communication with this person. If you are in communication and you're speaking to them, it might just be like the energy between you is very hostile. You know, you might have um, went through some sort of like an argument or some sort of altercation, okay? Um... But I feel like, you know, you need to kind of just take a step back and to just reflect. Just remember that love is here. Love is in between you, okay? Try to speak to each other from a loving space and loving heart. But I definitely feel like somebody definitely wants to speak to you and heal the situation with all this green energy here, okay? And at the bottom of the deck here, yeah, we've got healing environment. So someone definitely wants to make peace, okay? But I just feel like there's, a, there's, there's just a lot going on because I'm feeling like a ooh kind of energy, you know, someone's just drowning in emotions, like, oh my God, you know, people, like, water signs in general, they can be very emotional, so I feel like someone just needs to pull themselves together, okay, so that they can communicate clearly, okay, um, so what's coming towards my beautiful Scorpios, what have we got here, 
we've got female guardian angel so you are definitely being divinely protected you're definitely being divinely guided i also feel like this person sees you as a divine feminine they see you as very angelic they see you as very soft some of you could be dealing with like a with a pisces or a cancer okay you might have that in your chart um but i feel like there's somebody that's very sensitive here and there's somebody else that's i wouldn't say not as sensitive but there's somebody that's sensitive and there's someone that's insensitive someone could have been insensitive to your feelings okay um they could have done something and this could be why you freed yourself from this person or you're not speaking to them okay and i feel like this person knows it like it's a delicate situation so i feel like it's just the someone needs to let go of some resentment or some guilt i also feel like someone might have done something to you and you have a lot of resentment towards them which is blocking the energy in between you so i feel like some of you kind of just need to release and to let go if you want this person to come forward if you want them to talk okay but someone is definitely um watching over you as well you're definitely divinely protected and divinely guided and yeah i told you this person definitely wants to make peace with you because they love you all right what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios in love oh my god it's too many cards thank you gorgeous what did i just say this person loves you they definitely see you as their other half okay when i look at this because it's kind of like a bird's eye view like it looks like it's looking down at them so you are definitely being divinely watched divinely protected i feel like your ancestors and your spirit guides are trying to bring you two together okay your ancestors and spirit guides are definitely talking to this person or this could be you okay but this person definitely has a lot of love for you and i feel like this is why there's so much emotions here i just heard emotional baggage so someone really needs to let go of something in order for them to come into union but they need to be sensitive to the other person's feelings i also feel like someone needs to tell the truth about something i just heard the truth will set you three free and at the bottom of the deck here yeah we've got sadness i told you someone is wallowing in misery right now i feel like somebody feels ashamed and they feel guilty for something that they've done yeah it's heavy heavy in their mind they're doing some soul searching at the moment they're trying to get their chakras aligned okay so that they can speak to you but this person's definitely focused on you they're definitely watching you because they would like a positive future with you okay but someone is in despair right now Ooh, because i feel that energy i knew it i feel i felt it i can feel it guys who is it is it you or is it them that is the question okay so let's clarify have a voice what does this person want to say so what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios in love what's coming towards my beautiful ooh. so serenity so they definitely want to make peace with you, you could be dealing with a libra because they just got this card did they get the card of sadness as well no it was reflection but you know same difference okay not really but you know um <laughs> But yeah, I told you, I said that before, this person wants to make peace with you, with all this greenery here and the serenity, that's what that means. So yes, I feel like this person is trying to balance out their emotions. So the person that you could be dealing with, they could be very emotional right now. Like someone has separated themselves from someone here and someone is just staring at them, you know, just like, oh my God, that person's so angelic. Like, oh my God, they're just able to just set themselves free and to just do their damn thing. And oh my God, what can I do? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And it's just like... Woosa. this person needs to calm down they need to be cool they need to be collective and then they need to come forward so i feel like this person is going to communicate that they're sad and they're lost without you and they want to become balanced they want to make peace like i feel like someone is heavily deeply in love i also feel like someone is coming to the realization that they're in love as well and then yes we've got initiative so someone needs to take the initiative to come forward okay come through spirit come through all right please clarify female guardian what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios in love oh well, that wanted to fly out yes <laughs> libra just got these cards oh my god definitely could be dealing with libra they could have libra in their chart okay um but this person is in despair they're in misery i feel like they're just looking up for guidance they're just like what to do like praying in the moonlight to the moon i feel like this person could be doing some sort of rituals about you they could be um trying to do some call me spells when really they just need to come forward okay but this person is in complete despair you could also be upset about the situation as well whatever has happened to you okay but yeah because this this is kind of like the five of cups so there is heavy emotion here. I feel like, oh my, if this is like a divine masculine and divine feminine situation, I feel like this person's like, what have I done to my divine feminine? Like, oh my God. Or it could be the other way around. Take it how it resonates, okay? But yeah, 
I feel like someone's having a huge wake-up call from the divine right now. Yeah, someone definitely freed themselves from this situation with the free spirit card. Please clarify love. What's coming towards my beautiful... Scorpio's in love. What do we got? My God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Sadness all over the gaff. Someone is absolutely sad. Someone lost the love of their life, or at least that's how they feel, because it's clarified by love. She's got no fingers in this card as well. So I really do feel like somebody might have got caught red-handed. Someone could have been in a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. They could have been acting again. Someone was set insensitive to somebody here. They'd done something that they knew that they would hurt their feelings. I feel like someone separated themselves with, from the situation. Okay. And um, now they just... They can't... They're just wallowing in sadness. I feel like both of, both of you could be sad as well. But I feel like one of you is taking it better than the other person okay but this person they're, they're lost without their love they're just feeling frazzled someone definitely got caught red-handed they got caught in a lie or someone needs to speak up about something okay and i fear that you know if they haven't told you something it might make you sad but it, it, it's one of those things where it, things will be rebalanced but communication needs to happen here but yeah someone is drowning in their sorrows like literally somebody could be drinking as well i just heard and then we've got abundance at the bottom of the deck so yeah this is love this represents love beauty fertility so you could be dealing with the father or the mother of your child here or they just see a divine feminine quality about you or they want to have children with you underneath we have passion and we have intellect so this person is definitely thinking discernment this person is definitely thinking about how they want to speak to you so um they could be emailing you if you have this person's blocked or they might message you but they're definitely passionate very passionate about you could be dealing with a leo but you see this line has been put in their place and you see she's all free she's all like woo. so some of you could be dancers some of you could be very creative i'm hearing hair like something very beautiful about your hair you're very sexy or this could be the person that you're dealing with and um they they don't know how to come forward like they've got a lot of pride and ego but they have an abundance on love of love for you they definitely want to come forward like elephants they always say elephants never forget so i just feel like there's a lot of you know damage that's been done and it's very hard to let go and this person knows you know what they've done but with the elephants that represents luck so i feel like someone wants to try their luck they want to show you that they love you they want to treat you as a goddess okay i also feel like some of you are just in the moment of self-love and this person is looking at you and they're sad okay they're sad that you're happy without them loving yourself concentrating on your passions on your life purpose i just heard so what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios in love please clarify serenity what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios in love we got transcendence so yeah and look at all that green healing abundant wealth i'm hearing angelic protection i feel like this person has really seen you for who you are like i'm just hearing transparency like i also feel like this person needs to be transparent they just need to let you know in order to heal themselves in order to be like you because i feel like this could be you just sitting there like mm -hmm. yep i look good i feel good i've healed myself i found my peace i found my abundance some of you also spoke up for yourself and you said no and this is why this person is sad like, I'm just hearing self-love here. Like, someone doesn't have self-love. I feel like someone is also learning love from you. But somebody definitely wants to transcend. They want to transform the situation with you. Okay? They just need to be real. They need to be open. They need to be honest. Yeah. Domesticity. So, some of you have definitely been that self-love. All about home life and devotion. She also represents marriage. That motherly energy. So some of you could just be taking care of yourself, your kids, your home, your businesses, whatever it is. But you're showing all that love to yourself. And someone is miserable here. Oof. I can feel their energy. It's like, cheer up, Chuck. But what did you do? Or what did they do? That's the question. Okay, so what's coming towards my beautiful Scorpio? In love... 
one card please spirit what's coming towards my beautiful scorpios in love sorry scorpios this is very stiff energy oh okay just as i said that wisdom yeah so this person um some of you could be very very intuitive there's some sort of knowledge that came into i feel like someone could have found out about something here but i'm also hearing like spiritual maturity so somebody could have been emotionally and spiritually imma spiritually immature but they're someone did have emotional intelligence here okay i feel like you came into something and you protected yourself from this person you know you listen to your intuition you listen to the higher power to that female energy and i also feel like this is this person having a revelation i'm just hearing dark night of the soul because it's in this row, row, row. so we've got the female guardian angel with basically the five of cups and the wisdom i also feel like this person knows that they have to tell you something okay they need to bring clarity they need to speak their truth okay you could have found out something and separated yourself from that situation which is now making this person sad i also feel like this person definitely wants to speak to you because when i think about this i think about the um the ace of swords so they want to bring you some clarity okay but i also feel like you're very victorious in the situation because i'm feeling oppo two opposing energies here like one person is just like transparent and free and they're living it up they're being blessed by the divine another person is very very sad and in their feelings right now yeah and we've got enlightenment like they need to follow um divine guidance which is what i feel like is happening right now yeah and then we've got renewal so this person really needs to refresh themselves a clean slate i'm hearing they also want to renew a situation with you so if you're definitely like i feel like you're definitely in separation with this person or you're not speaking to them they want to come and like bring you an offer because they're sad they're miserable oh a lot of these readings people are, are really yep yeah, we got justice so just do just rewards definitely could be dealing with a libra you might want to watch um the libra reading but I just feel like this is someone's justice. I feel like someone could have lost somebody here. And, you know, that's their justice. That's their karma. Like, someone needs to lose love in order to feel, you know, what it, what it feels like to, to play with somebody's heart. And once they go through this, they will be renewed. They will be refreshed. You know, they will be transparent. They would have transcended to a different form, a different version of themselves. And they would have become spiritually awakened and mature. So we've got justice. What's underneath justice? Yeah, inner beauty and inner peace. Yeah, so some of you are focusing on your peace, your beauty, your blooming. As I said before, you know, you've got that courage, but somebody definitely wants to have the courage to come towards you. But yeah, they're just letting their emotions get in the way. I just feel like someone here is, is wallowing in like self-pity. It's kind of like, I feel like somebody could have done you wrong and it's just like now they're upset with you. Okay, you know. So what's coming towards my beautiful Scorpios in love? What, oh my God, what did I just say about this card? I think about the Ace of Swords. What has just come out? The Ace of Swords. This person needs to speak up. They need to speak their truth. They want to communicate with you. They need clarity, transparency. So expect communication from this person. So I feel like when this person goes through their dark night of the soul, when they're drowning in their emotions, they will get shit together once they let go of this resentment and they will communicate to you. And like I said before, you will be victorious. Some of you might intuitively knew something. You're going to get that clarity. Someone's going to speak their truth, okay? They're just going through the motions right now. Yes. This represents good news, so you're going to be hearing what you want to hear. Okay, what's coming towards my um, beautiful Scorpios in love? <sighs> yeah, we've got, I told you someone's wallowing in their emotions. This is your energy, or you could be dealing with another Pisces or Cancer. But you see how this, uh, this could be you focusing on your self-love, focusing on your cup. But I also feel like this is this person looking at the cup of love that they want to give you. But they're drowning because, you see, it's clarified in this row where this cup has spilled all the way over. But I feel it's two opposing energies. Someone's going through the five of cups right now. Someone is just focused on self-love. They're just like, okay, if you want to just be over there and be miserable in your own pity that you created for yourself, that's okay. But I'm here focusing on myself, okay? But this person, there's definitely a lot of love here. Yeah. 
And then we've got um, the Ace of Wands. So someone definitely wants to communicate with you because they have a lot of passion. What's coming towards Scorpios in love? Yeah, this person tried to play mind games. They tried to have a one-up on you. Okay, there was a lot of confusion here. There was a lot of tit for tat. This person is going through it now because like I said, they understand that they cannot play with your heart. They can't play games with love. And this person is seeing it here. This person feels defeated. So you're going to get your victory here. It's like to say you were right, you won, I'm hearing. You know, let's end the games, let's renew the situation. I'm devastated without you. Yes, this person now wants to boss up. Could be dealing with an Aries here or another Scorpio. This could be your energy because Aries is ruled by Mars. They want to be, they, they want to boss up. This person needs to take control of their emotions, okay? This person needs to, to um, if, you know, if you want to be, if you want to be with someone, because again, with the Ma'at energy here, you know, to me, that's Libra energy. So this is kind of like the emperor and the empress. If you want to be with the empress, you need to be an emperor. You need to be a boss, but take it how it resonates. Underneath that, we've got the nine of pentacles. So like I said, someone here is really loving up on themselves. They're looking good. They're feeling good. They're smelling good. This person now is seeing you and they want to step up. Okay, they've got all this love for you. So this is a new love offer that could be coming in from somebody that you rejected. Some of you might reject this person. Some of you might be getting blessed with a new person. But let's see, shall we? So what's coming towards my beautiful Scorpios? And now please clarify the Ace of Swords. Let's cut by the Ace of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. God, we got the Five of Swords again. So, yeah, so somebody wants to speak their truth about some kind of mind games that they're playing. Somebody also, like I said before, they want to tell you that you've won. Okay, you win, I lose. I understand this isn't a game, this isn't a battle. This person needs to confess about some, some fucked up shit that they've been doing. Okay? This person needs to admit that they were wrong. Admit defeat. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign here. Heavy Aquarius energy. But we've got air and water so far. So that could be Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer or you Scorpio. Um, please clarify the Queen of Cups. What's coming towards my beautiful Scorpios in love? Please clarify the Queen of Cups. Please clarify the Queen of Cups. One. Oh. One card, please. They don't want to tell me. One card. The devil. Okay, so I told you, like, there was some toxicity here. Okay. I also feel like someone is... Because the devil clarified by the Queen of Cups. This is like heavy obsession. Like someone is literally just... Their emotions are heavy. To the point where it's almost intoxicating to themselves. Okay? I feel like this person is just thinking about you. Like just, I'm just hearing obsession. This is very kind of scorpionic to me. Someone is just watching you. They're just drowning in their sorrows. Also, I feel like this person, you could have cut yourself off of this person and focused on self-love because they were into some sort of toxic behaviours. And you were just like, do you know what? I'm not really about that. I'm not dealing with your toxicity. But I feel like this person has got a lot of deep love for you. Like, it's deeply rooted. Deeply. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Could have been dealing with someone that has some sort of addictions, but I feel like someone is addicted to you. I feel like they've become obsessive now that you've released your energy from them. Okay, I also feel like as well, someone's emotions are a bit overwhelming. Okay, please clarify the five of swords. Okay, one card please, that was too many cards. Please clarify the five of swords. Woo! Oh my god, we got so many cards. Let me just pick one. What has come out? Yeah, the um seven of cups here. 
Yeah, oh, and we got the Ten of Swords. Oof. But yeah, the Seven of Cups. So somebody was very, very confused. Again, they could have been playing a lot of mind games. And I feel like somebody tried to play you and now they've ended up playing themselves. <laughs> the irony. The irony. So now they're just sitting here wondering what to do, wallowing in their own sadness. They're trying to think about how they can come forward. I also feel like this person deliberately tried to confuse you, especially with this devil energy here. This person literally, they knew what they were doing. Someone just had a very toxic mindset here, but I feel like their toxicity bit themselves in the ass. Because, you know, justice is at the bottom of the deck. Somebody got their karma here. Now this person is in love and they're stressed out, they're obsessed, they don't know what the fuck to do. Now they're confused, they're mentally confused by their own mind games. Oh well. And then we've got the Ten of Cups. So yeah, this person definitely wants to... Um, you are their emotional fulfillment. There could have been two women involved. You could be in a same-sex relationship or... You could be um, in an interracial relationship as well. There could be difference in skin tones and cultures. Doesn't have to be. Okay. But yeah, the Empress. What did I say before? Did I not just say, if you want to be with the Empress, okay, you need to boss up and be the Emperor. And I told you, I feel like someone's going through the dark night of the soul because underneath that, we've got the tower. So I feel like somebody's here happy and fulfilled being the empress and someone's going through a dark night of the soul here this is scorpionic energy as well so this could be you okay and then we've got the king of cups here or this could be somebody else having their tower moment you know if you try to fuck over a scorpio people don't understand scorpios rule death and destruction so to fuck over a scorpio is to fuck over yourself it's like fucking over a libra they rule karmic justice so your karmic justice is going to come back on you. Like, you, you, don't, you don't mess with certain signs. You really, really don't. And I think this person is understanding that now. Even if it's not from an astrological point of view, it's from a 3D tangible point of view because I just feel like someone is just... They're going through their karma right now. What can we say, okay? So some of you... Well, let's just get some additional advice and information. Please and thanks. Because I just keep hearing karmic justice all over this. Someone is just kind of just a bit confused and a bit stressed. Okay. Just a lot of self-pity here. Okay, so what's what additional advice and information do you have for my Scorpios? Joy and contentment. And sacred plans. So yeah, trust in the universe, okay. Focus on your happiness. Focus on your joy. You will get your wish fulfillment. If your wish fulfillment is for this person to come and to step up and to be that emperor, to look after you, to care for you, they will. If your wish fulfillment is for you to just become your own emperor, focus on yourself, that will happen too. And if your wish is for somebody new, that's going to happen. But focus on your happiness. I also feel like this person wants to come in to make you happy, but they need to be vulnerable, okay? Okay. Yeah, definitely some of you have got angelic protection because, you know, there's an opportunity for you to regain friendship with this person or there's an opportunity for you to change direction and go into somebody who's more on your wavelength, okay? And additional advice and information for my beautiful Scorpios. Additional advice and information for my Scorpios, please. Yep, yeah, heavy reflection. I mentioned reflection earlier. Libra got reflection. You, you might want to watch the Libra reading, like, honestly. But, yeah, someone is definitely reflecting. Somebody could have been, as well, with multiple multitudes of people. But they're definitely reflecting on their behaviour. I also feel like if this person comes back into your life, you need to kind of reflect. You need to think about your happiness. It's like, you know, you've got your peace, you're content with life. So do you really want to allow this energy back in? Because we still got a lot of, you know, five of swords and... Yeah, this person is thinking about you right now. They might contact you right now within 24 hours after watching this video. But I feel like this person is in heavy reflection right now. They could be watching you right now. Okay. Okay, let's just get one more card for the streets. Because this energy is a bit all over the place. 
some to be honest with you i really do feel like it's someone's karmic justice to lose you and for you to go off and be happy with somebody else you know if this person ain't coming correct don't come at all okay one extra message for my scorpios oh god sorry scorpios these cards are so slippery okay can we just have one card please thank you universe we are all just stardust so yes remember how magical you are remember you have the power to manifest whatever you want so like i said wish fulfillment if you're wishing and hoping and praying for a certain thing it will come to you but remember who you are okay remember that you you have the power i also feel like this person is wishing to the stars about you like i said before i feel like this person feels like you're angelic you know they could be trying to get divine guidance okay Feather, think before think first before you judge so that was at the bottom of the deck and bitch fire stand up for yourself so yeah stand up for yourself be empowered i feel like there was probably a lot of judgment within this situation which is why there was a lot of mind games somebody could have judged you for your outer and not for your mind not for your wisdom now they're reflecting so it's just my advice to you is to just really second guess if you do hear communication from this person are they being vulnerable are they being honest you know, are you happier without them? Are they on some emperor shit? Or are they on some confusion and on some mind games? I hope this resonated. If it did, please do not hesitate to like, share, comment, and or subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal read and to get more insight, all that information is in the description box below. If you'd like to follow me on my art account or make a donation, you can do that. It's all down below. Toodles.